What's up guys, in this video I'm going to rate every armor set in the main game and DLC, so let's get into the video. In last place on my list, I have the Worn set. This set is one of the first armor that you can unlock in Breath of the Wild. And this armor, as it says, is well worn, and I think that Hyrule's chosen champion deserves better than old clothes. Next on my list, I have the Tangle set. I don't know why anyone would choose this set to be their favorite unless they do it for the memes. Next, I have the Gerudo set. This outfit is used to sneak into the Gerudo town by pretending to be a Vi, and the chosen champion should not have to pretend to be someone else. In 18th place, I have the Hylian outfit. This outfit does not really match well together, with all three pieces being a different color. Also, I do not really like the shirt and pants, but the hood is very good. Next, I have the Desert Vo outfit. This set can be bought after completing the Terry Town quest, or after getting into the secret hideout in Gerudo Town. Also, this outfit is not one of my favorites because I do not like the hairstyle and the arm cover looks ugly. In 16th place, I have the Flamebreaker armor. This armor is necessary to visit the hot Elden region, and this armor can be cool if it is what you like, but for me, this armor is too bulky. And how does Link, having one helmet and pants, save him from boiling in a 2000 degree volcano? Next, I have the Snow Quill outfit. This armor gives you cold resistance buff, and this outfit is necessary for traveling around the Tabantha Tundra. This outfit's hair actually looks quite good, but the tunic looks kind of weird. And just like the last one, how does braiding your hair and putting feathers in it make you any warmer? In 14th place, I have the rubber outfit. And this helm is really good in my opinion, but it just does not match with the rest of the set. And honestly, why did they put a fish on the rubber outfit if it's uses for electricity? I actually did some researching, and it might be because it was built after the Zora's giant fish lightning rod. Next is the climbing set. This set gives the unique ability of being able to climb faster. The bandana is pretty cool, but e and even the shirt, but I really dislike the pants. In 12th place, I have the Royal Guard outfit. This is a fancy outfit worn by the Royal Guards of Hyrule, but the boots are way too big for my link. Next is the Soldier's outfit. This set is pretty good, but the problem is it is a soldier's, not a knight's. If they made a knight set that actually looked like I'm a video knight, that would definitely be top 5. In 10th place, I have the Salvager set. This set is obtained by chasing red shooting stars, and this outfit is a reference to Exoblade Chronicles. If you have actually played that game, this might be one of your favorites, but I have not. But still, this is a really good, cool outfit, but my least favorite part are the shoes, because they are really bulky. In 9th place, I have the Armor of the Wild. This outfit is obtained by completing every shrine in the game. The reason I do not like this outfit is because of the pants. But in 8th place, I have the Zora set. This set allows you to swim up waterfalls, which is cool, and the shirt and even the pants are some of the best in the game, but the helmet, it's just not that good. In 7th place, I have the Stealth Armor, and this armor makes you quieter and is very useful for the Giga Clan hideout mission. This armor is some of the coolest in the game, and it's practically ninja armor. I do not really like the scarf, though, that Link has with this armor. Next, I have the Phantom Armor. This armor is the armor that the Phantoms wear in Phantom Hourglass. And it's very cool, except I do not like how bulky the armor is on Link. In 5th place, I have the Ancient Armor. This armor can be forged in the tech lab, and is very cool. My least favorite part about the set that will bug me forever is the hat. Why couldn't they make a helmet like the Divine Beast helms? In 4th place, I have the Phantom Ganon Armor. The shirt and pants of the set are just perfect, and the cape is too. But the helmet of the set is just not so great. That's why I substituted it for the Phantom Helmet. In third place, I have the Barbarian Armor. This armor is really good. I really like the helmet that is a skull, and I really like the furs that are used to make the set. In second place, I have the Radiant Set. This set has the theme of a wrestler, and at first glance, this set is just okay. But when the bones light up, it makes the set just so much more unique and much better. In first place, the best outfit set in Breath of the Wild is the Dark Set. This outfit is just so cool with the glowing eyes and it transforms Link into the Dark Link. This set has a pricey cost at Kilton's Monster Shop, but if you have the resources, the Dark Link set is an easy buy. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you did, make sure to like and comment your favorite outfit. See you later. This is Rockman Ronnie.